Okay, so we got our heat gun plugged in, and we got our heat tubing there, and we'll see if we can uh, shrink it down a little bit. This isn't the, uh, this is only a $20 heat gun, so. Uh, it's shrinking up for me. Some of them have a heat shield on the other side to bounce the heat back so it's more even, but this one doesn't have that. So we'll try to go around a couple times. Shrinking up. Getting tighter. Yeah, I don't think this thing is real powerful, this heat gun. I have to hold it awful close for it to get it to work. But it is working. Probably some old pros at this are like thinking, boy, this guy is goofy. He doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Well, I can see the adhesive starting to ooze out a little bit, so must be shrunk down pretty good. Yeah, I think that's kind of the key when you see the adhesive oozing out the end. So I'm going to stop it there and cool it all, let it cool off. And uh, that's our shrink wrapped end. So now we go install this from the positive of the auxiliary battery to the auxiliary side of the interrupter. That's what we'll do next.